But what you looking at right now, this is what a free Negro look like. And I'm telling you, we're going to get our city back. We're going to stand for our people. We're going to get them out of our communities because they don't deserve to be there. Anytime they can't give us three lousy minutes of their attention while we sit here and watch y'all get them all kind of money, you watch us. We black out here. What up, y'all? This is Papa Z, and I'm back with another video. Man, I got to... I got to give a round of applause, man. Shout out Chicago, man. Shout out Chicago. Man, the people in Chicago are finally waking up and realizing, man, that they didn't had enough of the shenanigans, man. They had enough of the shenanigans with the with the with the mayor, uh, Brandon Johnson, all this migrant funding and all the above. Man, they had a city council meeting. Uh a young lady spoke named Jessica Johnson. Man, she spoke so eloquently, man, with a lot of fire and a lot of passion because she is fed up with what's going on in the communities of Chicago. The blacks are being pushed back. Uh, they're being disrespected. They're watching billions of dollars going to fund these migrants. And they not having it no more, man. They gave Brandon Johnson a piece of their mind. Literally. You know what I'm saying? She even went to the uh, point of breaking it down in layman's terms by using the movie Scarface. You know, she's saying that, you know, everybody knows all the famous lines. It's a legendary movie and all that. But the beginning of the movie is the plot twist. And that's what exactly is going on in this country. She broke it down. And Brandon Johnson couldn't do nothing but sit over there and squirm and look like a total idiot. You know what I'm saying? He's black. They got 20 black aldermen people in the city council over there. You know what I'm saying? They all black and they acting like they. They acting like they ain't black. You know what I'm saying? I felt I felt her heartfelt sentiments of how she feel about her community you know what i'm saying and and it's real you know what i'm saying shout out chicago man let them have it man let them know that y'all not falling for the banana in the tailpipe no more man you gotta let them know you gotta stand up i know everybody's gonna come on here and comment and say well you voted for them and and all that's you know all that stuff but like I said before in the last, in one of the videos I did, that people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? They they they're so used to voting a certain way, but then when the when the when the realization comes to where they're starting to see the disrespect, you know, we're not our grandparents. You know what I'm saying? We we are a new generation of voters, and 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 you know, and and we're waking up. You know what I'm saying? We free. Free black. We, we're, we're the free Negro. Put it that way. We don't have to sit up and, 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 and uh, you know, vote the same way that we've been doing. You know what I'm saying? We got to we, we have to really look. We're waking up. We're weighing the options. You know what I'm saying? And we know right from wrong. And we know when we're being screwed. You know what I'm saying? They try to they, they try to throw this little song and dance out there to try to get the vote they get in there and then do the whole total opposite but the people of chicago man wake up man let them know let them know you know y'all watch her man this, this is jessica johnson and listen to the passion in her heart you know what i'm saying she ain't playing no games you know what i'm saying and the people of chicago should uh protect this woman at all costs you know what i'm saying so y'all pay attention good morning good morning um i'm sure everybody knows about a movie scarface right it's a classic al pacino right everybody knows about that movie and we you know we focus on the famous lines in that movie you know the acting and the hello to my little friend and all that. But it's the beginning of that movie that matters. 
when those words are coming up on that screen, that's what matters. And those words say, in May 1980, Fidel Castro opened the harbor at Muriel, Cuba, with the apparent intention of letting some of his people join their relatives in the United States. Within 72 hours, 3,000 U.S. boats were headed for Cuba. It soon became evident that Castro was forcing the boat owners to carry back with them not only their relatives, but the dregs of his jails. Of that 125,000 refugees that landed in Florida, an estimated 25,000 had criminal records. That's what's up. That's what has happened in the United States right now. All this asylum-seeking lie, all this about refugees, and, no, no, no. What's happening is they're emptying out the dregs of their jails into the United States, into our communities. They're junking up our country. And yeah, we feel some kind of way about it because it's our country. It's our country. People like Fast Quest and them, look how disrespectful they are. Now you just gave that man a resolution for his father's restaurant. And every time we get up and talk, he's working this room. Look at him. Look at him. But he wants his resolution for his father to be respected. Vasquez, Lopez, all of them want their people to be, dis to be respected, but they can't even give us the dignity for what we built for them. Ain't no question about it. Yeah, Black History Month, the American descendants of slavery. And I want you to know, Brandon Johnson, I understand what Brakemore's saying about we still own the plantation, but what you're looking at right now, this is what a free Negro look like. And I'm telling you, we're going to get our city back. We're going to stand for our people. We're going to get them out of our communities because they don't deserve to be there. Anytime they can't give us three lousy minutes of their attention while we sit here and watch y'all get them all kind of money, you watch us. We black out here and we're going to handle our business. You watch that. I'm a free black woman. This is how we get down. All right, Brandon Johnson. All right. Woo, man, that had me fired up, boy. I tell you, boy, Chicago is not playing no more. They're not playing no more, man. Protect that woman at all costs, man. Protect her at all costs. She's spitting facts. You know what I'm saying? We black. You know what I'm saying? We're going to handle ours. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep playing. Y'all keep playing. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to do what they got to do. We're going to have to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right, but keep on playing. And it's Black History Month. Keep on playing. Man. But uh, I'm not done yet. I got another young lady named Zoe Lee. She broke down the numbers, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and what's going on in the streets of Chicago with the crime, with the homelessness. They even got a bed bug problem out there. I ain't even know nothing about that. And then she's talking about the billion dollars. Oh, damn near a billion dollars spent on the migrants. She asking like, where's that money go? Where's that money going? They want answers because it's, it's, it's not going to the black community. Or any other community. It ain't going nowhere. It's going every, everything is going spent on the migrant crisis. And they not having it, man. Protect this woman at all costs. You understand me? So, yeah, y'all look at what she got to say. And I'll be right back. None of you public servants cannot afford to be arguing and fighting like children when it's a whole war outside. Let's get into it. It's 68,000 Chicagoans that are homeless. Majority of them are black. Our black kids are running rampant out here. Record carjackings, record auto theft and robberies. Downtown has three to four illegal families on every block begging for work and selling Kit Kat bars after a billion dollars was spent on them. Where is that money? Where is the money for the South Side and the West Side communities? That should be, that should be the argument. 
It's 20 black aldermen and women and a lot of upset black constituents who voted y'all in. So run into the white media outlets who won't even run a story about stolen properties being taken in our communities, the displacement of elder people, the mass illegal evictions happening on the South Side, and the massive bed bug problem that the Chicago Public Housing Authority has had and it's not being addressed. When it's a Chicago bed bug ordinance that's supposed to charge a landlord $2,000 per day. So just like the Latino, all the people in here that stick together, it should be the same with the blacks. And lastly, when are you going to find a floor leader? It's been three months. That should be another argument. We also will be voting no to bring Chicago home on March 19th. And Mayor Johnson, glad to hear you decided not to ask city council to approve not another dollar for the illegals. If the crisis is so bad, the city council members who are so concerned to donate their salaries to the cause like a real public servant should. Happy fucking black history. Woo. Shout out Chicago, man. They got me over here sweating. Got my blood pressure high and everything. I'm ready to go take a flight out there to Chicago, man, and go and go fight it with the cause. You know what I'm saying? Keep on messing around with this black man. Keep on messing around with this black. We gonna uh, we gonna have to show you something. You know what I'm saying? Keep on keep on messing around. But anyway, man, y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Uh, what you think? about the people in Chicago uh, uh, waking up to what's going on and how they're being used and mistreated and all that stuff. And yeah, like I always say, protect yourself at all times. Keep your head on the swivel. God bless America. And I'm out. Papa Z, peace.